You don't have to drive very far out of Jackson to see signs of support for missing toddler Noah Chamberlain. While search and rescue teams have worked around the clock since he was first reported missing, some say it's the volunteers who have kept the search going nonstop. When it gets dark, they leave and recharge their batteries and we pull in all the volunteers to then keep the thing going 24 seven around the clock. But searching the woods isn't the only way volunteers are coming out. Zippy's convenience store is about two miles from the designated search area. It's where we find James Holt. I came from Athens, Alabama. Who says despite volunteers being put on the sidelines for much of the search this week, he still felt he had to help. When it was coming up on day six and he was not found, it was time for me to do whatever it is that, that what little I could do to help. But inside this happening breakfast spot. Give me scrambled egg, bacon, and a biscuit. There's a not so traditional volunteer, Jackie Singleton. I plan on helping everybody I can out. Holt experienced how Singleton is volunteering through the search firsthand. They just said, get, get whatever you want to eat and drink, it's on us. Good people, really good community. I myself bought them something to eat because I appreciate everything they're doing. I can't be out there, but I can surely help another way. With many volunteers in standby mode, the motivating factors are across the board. I'd like to be the one that could blame, bring closure to, to the family. There's really only one reason volunteers say they're here to help day after day, and his name is Noah Chamberlain. In Chester County, Victoria Taylor, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.